and Trout were just messing around. We made these little tongs. And they come in useful for a variety of things. You know, you can kind of pick up some, uh, some of the, uh, whatever they're called down there. The uh, burnt pieces of wood. Some of this, these cold pieces and just put them on top and burn them a little more. The, the purpose of me wanting to do that <clears throat> is because when we leave, I'll be able to um, clean up this fire a little easier if those big chunks are kind of burned down. But uh, there's a variety of things. I mean, you could use it to pick up your cup. I find sometimes it is a little hard when it's full. But uh, you can pinch Trout's nose with it. But it's kind of a fun little tool. We're going to play a little game here, me and Trout. And here's the scenario. Very, very serious scenario. Life threatening. And what is that? Um. I've lost my hat. Huh. <laughs> so my bald head is going to get burned by the sun if I don't find my hat. And Trout's going to help me find it by using a compass. So, really, what we've done here is we've just I set up a very simple compass course for him so he can locate my hat. In all honesty, this isn't contrived. Uh, for whatever reason, Trout has expressed a lot of interest in Compass on the way up. So uh, we've just been talking about it. I thought, you know what, why don't we set up a course? So this is uh, really all I'm doing, guys, is recording what we're doing up here. Set the compass at 20 degrees. Okay, so what I need you to do, see the number 20 on the compass? Okay. Yep. Turn that on that red arrow, on the directional arrow. You're going to put red, red into the shed on the compass, but then that tells you the direction, 20 degrees. So that red arrow now tells you where to walk. Okay. So what I want you to do here is I want you to pick something out there that's that direction. Because if you pick something that's out there, then you watch it then you can walk straight to it and you'll be able to keep your bearing. Okay? That tree button. So that'll be 20 degrees. Okay. So I want you to walk to that one. So you're going to walk about 40 paces, but my paces are a little bit different than yours. Okay. But we'll walk to that tree. So count, count your footsteps. One. This is one thing about bringing kids out is let them kind of direct what you're doing too. Don't always have you decide. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, your next one is. So go 310 degrees. I'll get up there and make sure he's getting it. Okay, good. You've got it down before I even got here. 310 degrees on the directional arrow. And then you're going to put red into the shed. So now the directional arrow tells you what direction to walk. So pick something out there. Mm, that little thing. Perfect. Thing. That was actually perfect because that's exactly what I focused on when making that bearing. So that was kind of cool. Okay, Trout, the last one is 190 degrees and 30 paces. So you've got 190 degrees on this, where's my finger? On this red directional arrow. You're going to put red into the shed and now you know that arrow is pointing where you need to go. A little more tricky, why? Because you can't go in a straight line, why? Because there's bushes. There's bushes. So is there a landmark out there that you can pick to keep you on a straight path? Good path. Okay, let's try that. Okay, hat should be around here somewhere. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now your dad won't burn his noggin. You did pretty good too. I think it'd be fun to do a longer one. Too. Yeah, a longer one. Well, I, you certainly have the uh, the concept down. Maybe this time I'll try it. How are your paces? Compared we did two more of the little compass things there, the little compass course. And one I set up and made it a bit longer. 
and then he did another one actually and uh, so he's he's getting it he's getting it he still needs some experience with it but uh, he's picking up a lot faster than I did at his age so now we're kind of getting ready to go but first I'll tell you what ah, I think I'm gonna do this see the pack is ready to go. Uh, Trout there has got his pack on ready to go and what you didn't see off camera is we took a reading from the map to get us back to the trail and so I showed Trout kind of how to do that. He's going to use the compass and what direction do we need to head to get back to the trail? That way. That way's right but what North direction east. is that? Northeast. Northeast. Trout's going to lead us out of here. Okay. We'll see how he does. This is what we have going. What I'm having Trout do is just take those that 40 degree reading that we established from the map and picking an item that's 40 degrees to keep us on a straight line and then we'll go to that item. Now you can see he's zigzagging but as long as we pick something and get to that point that'll keep us on a straight line and then we're leapfrogging 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 we just keep taking 40 and 40 40 until we will hit the trail it's a great little lesson for him actually you can see right now from the spot I am what he picked that matched the 40 degrees was that tree that's a 45 degree angle that's fallen over there so that's where he went now he's taking another reading pick something else and we'll move again. Trout and I were just discussing and what we were talking about is in open land you can take a reading and pick a point way off that matches your alignment with the compass and not have to take a reading for a long time because you have to walk a long distance. In this case though we're kind of getting into some thick trees so we have to keep taking short distances and short points to keep us on a straight line. You ready? Did you pick yeah. something? Yeah. All right, let's go. Now here's an interesting lesson. You can kind of see what we're going through here, going through a lot of brush. So sometimes what you identify on the map that might be a rel relatively easy path as far as elevation gain or loss, depending on which direction you're heading, could lead you into a big brush pile. This isn't too bad. It's kind of fun though. It's an adventure. Hunt her out. He keeps picking those points so it keeps us in a straight line. So we need 40 degrees. So he puts the compass on 40 and then moves it to put the red in the shed and then it points us to where we go. All right, bud. Good thing, because I'm lost. I don't know where we are. We're getting closer, we think, based on just the time we're walking and the map readings. And we can see the train is dropping in front of us. And what we want to do is just, okay, we've got some view. Let's take a look out there and see if we can't find a trail. It's actually right down there, so we're headed the right direction. Look out there, what do you see? Uh, I see an open field, I think I can see a trail. An open field and you think you can see a trail? Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks like a... So, there's actually... In an open field, what looks like a river, is what Trout is saying. And then, what he thinks is a trail, right there. Okay, we're not lost. You use the compass, and you found the trail. So we can hit the trail, 
And once we get there, there'll be one more thing to figure out. Which way to go? On Which the way trail. to go on the trail? That I know is that way. How do you know that? Because we came in from over there. Okay, so you kind of have to pay attention to when you leave where you are too, huh? Okay, I think this about wraps it up for us. Trout did an awesome job navigating and using the compass. We didn't plan that, but he just kind of wanted to do it, huh? And are you tired? A little. A little. And we're out of here, so another fun one under the belt, guys. Thanks for watching.